Hi, Andrew Dolson here with Symbology, and today we're going to be learning some tips and tricks to use with the bartender printing program. Let's get started. So another thing that we get from time to time is how do we put a color background on a label? We're going to go up to our box tool, choose a box and bring it over the label. What I'm doing here is making the box a little bit bigger than the label all the way around so that the color goes all the way. And then we're going to do right button click, go to properties, and we're going to change our color to put in a color background. Here we're going to do um, the line itself, and then we'll put in the, in the fill properties, we'll put in the same one. You don't have to do the line if you don't want to, you could use just the, uh, the fill. And you see when that, when you finish with that, your text is gone. It's actually in the layer behind. So to make it appear, we'll just go to the arrange tool, send it to the back. And now our colors in the background, our text is in the foreground, and we're ready to print a color label. You may also want to put in a color line. You're gonna do that in basically the same way. We're gonna start with a line, drag it onto our label. Right button, we're gonna right button click on it to go to properties and change the color and or size if we want to. Let's make it a little thicker. And there you have your label with a color line. The color line will only print out with a color printer. If you use a color line in the black and white printers, it's gonna convert it back to a shade of black. Give us a call at Symbology Enterprises. We'll help you through the process to make sure it's a fit for you.